I always wanted to become an inventor, and also I wanted to have a huge patient impact. So as soon as I learned about the methodology, it was my dream to be part of the program. It's a, a really good experience. The fellowship is a 10 and a half month period of time in your life. Well, you come here, you'll be able to put everything you've been doing before aside for a while, be able to immerse yourself in this innovation process. Our whole approach gives innovators a discipline and a repeatable process to be able to deeply understand the need and then use everything that they've learned to invent something that's uniquely designed to address the problem in a meaningful way for the most important healthcare stakeholders. We've broken a process that is complicated into simple steps, but what that enables people to do is to see themselves taking each of those steps. 12 fellows are selected to come here on Stanford campus. We go through clinical immersion where we spend some time in a hospital observing needs, talking with patients and shadowing clinicians in a clinical field that is specified by the program. And we then come to identify various problems in this field. From this long list of problems, through a systematic approach, we validate and narrow it down to the most important needs. And after we have verified which are the most important needs to focus on, we go through a systematic invention process of brainstorming possible solutions, validating with various stakeholders, and lots of rounds of prototyping into figuring out what would be the best way to solve the problem. In the end, we go through the implementation phase where we learn how we go beyond invention into checking the intellectual property components, regulatory strategy, clinical strategy, and business model planning to having a sustainable business to bring this innovation forward. I'm the perfect example of the fact that the training works. I came in knowing really nothing about innovation. I was able to take the process, learn it, and then try it out as a first time entrepreneur and got multiple devices on the market to patients and a successful company, really based on what we had learned at Biodesign. Biodesign as a program is run by innovators. We always try to innovate on our own teaching and our own process. So every year we ask ourselves, what can we do better than we did last year? And some of the things that we're doing now that we didn't do you know, a little over 10 years ago when I did the fellowship is to have a lot more focus on biotechnology. There's just been an incredible explosion uh, in the, the biotechnology space in the last couple of decades. We're now able to manipulate cells and pathways and organ systems on a way that we simply couldn't. We're educating the fellows on the different types of toolkits in terms of technologies, but also the perspective of payers and the regulators and how that might be different in biopharmaceuticals than it could be for, say, a device or for software. One of the areas that has not gotten enough attention is equity of healthcare delivery. We have this wonderful opportunity at Biodesign because we attract these unbelievably talented engineers and physicians and business people. And if we can orient them toward appreciating the central importance of access and affordability, we will move the needle on this problem. We are hoping to take a more expansive approach as we think about where our fellows immerse and the type of problems we see. We're also teaching different types of business models and encouraging innovators to put impact at the center of what they do. We are bringing in different types of mentors and voices into the community that can bring diverse perspectives that our fellows can really benefit from when thinking about health equity. I think the community of biodesign is so fascinating because there is probably no other place in the world that I can look around the room and deeply and honestly respect every individual in the room and really like them. I mean, people is everything. I love the way that we have it structured. For the innovation program, we bring in 12 fellows and we're split off into three different teams. And so it's multidisciplinary. You're able to learn and kind of work off of your, your teammates to make something beautiful. The first few days of arrival is really focused on creating a community of belonging, both among the cohort and among the staff and faculty. We have various activities that are designed truly to help get to know 
each other, maybe get to know yourself a little bit better, and to get to know the biodesign office space, the Stanford campus, and the area as well. Stanford is a pretty cool place. This whole environment is so conducive to innovation. There's a really high concentration of not only innovators, but a funding community and an entrepreneurial community. And everything kind of comes together to help support entrepreneurs and innovators in a way that is really hard to, to replicate around the world. I think the underlying thing that we all have that's foundational to this program and really the whole healthcare space is passion. When you see a patient being treated by a technology that you've helped to develop, there is a richness in that, a satisfaction that is just beyond any measure. It's the kind of thing you wake up in the morning and you say, I'm going to do a good thing.